Hello, gorgeous. I hope you are doing great there. It's been a while since I first kicked off my healing process with self love doodling, and I am so happy to receive lots of positive feedbacks on my Instagram account. I know this is the very beginning for me, but it means so much to me if somebody out there will let me know that what I'm doing is meaningful for the others. So today I am tutoring with you this little bunny girl who has two long beautiful ears representing her true capacity of listening. And we would discuss a little about listening with love and why do we really need it in our daily life to help us on our journey to master self-love. Firstly, let's see what we understand about listening with love. Many people may prefer to use the phrase deep listening. Those are the same, I think. And if you add the sound of love into it, listen with love. It would be more inspirational for people to take action. Listening with love is when you can practice a habit of mindful listening. This is exactly when you are very well aware of your listening in the present moment. That is when you are 100% present with the speaker with the heart of a Jesus or Buddha. That is a heart of love and compassion, the heart with no judgment, only receiving and embracing. There are five benefits of listening with love that I myself have experienced throughout my practice. Number one, listening with love is very good for your mental health. You feel very happy in your heart and this feeling is brought about by the matter. That is the compassion in Buddhism. This is the love of God or the universe or Buddha that is also healing and nourishing you even when you are thinking that you are doing something for the others. Number two, you look more beautiful when listening with love. Even if you believe or not, you look more beautiful in a natural way without any efforts. Well, this may be very helpful for the first date, right? <laughs> but yeah, it makes you sit more up straight, your eyes are brighter with love, your face muscles are more relaxing, your breathing is more deep and slow, which is fabulous for your long-term physical health. In general, when you are listening with love from bottom of your heart, you are shining there with love. Love and compassion are the best cosmetics I have ever known. It makes you look beautiful in a very special way that is beyond any vocabularies. Number 3. Listening with love is actually mindful listening or deep listening. Those are only words for one thing. That is one of the amazing mindfulness practices. When you are 100% concentrating, dedicating your whole body and mind for the listening, you are actually doing meditation. Meditation is just that simple, my dear. That is when you can maintain your awareness on only one thing. And you have 100 chances a day to practice meditation because people are talking to you a lot here and there, right? So you have to practice listening. <laughs> so if you say, no time for meditation, the resolution is now checked. Number four, listening with love is the God medicine for all kinds of relationships. Communication is the main food for the sustainable relationship and the qualification of communication is mainly decided by how deeply, how good you can listen to your partner. 
Are you listening to them with love and compassion or just let your thinking and judgments running continuously through your mind when your beloved is trying his best to communicate with all of his heart? So if you are going to liquidate any relationships, the last thing you could do is to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with that person. And key to a successful heart-to-heart -heart conversation is listening with love and compassion. Number five, practicing listening with love is when we are practicing to lower our ego or even break it. I like a famous quote from Eckhart Tolle, whenever you have a hurt feeling, it is because of the ego. Our ego is leading us to so many fears, doubts, jealousy, angers, and so many other negative vibes. If we are determined to have a happier and healthier life, both mentally and physically, practicing listening with love may help you tremendously day by day. So, after you think that you are getting good at listening to the others with love, you can practice that with yourself also, which is the most important thing. So, from now on, whenever you have chance, Please listen with love, either the emotions and sensations happening inside you or the conversation that is delivered by someone else. Listening with love is a life skill, but you cannot have it after one night. It requires long-term practice. In the very beginning, it may be quite hard for you To practice because you cannot very concentrate, your ego is too big, you are not confident about yourself, etc. But please make the first baby steps and watch how much your soul grows after your diligent practice. So, we have just finished the painting now, and I hope this will be a very good reminder for you to practice listening with love daily. With merely one mindful practice like listening with love, you will see the improvement in relationship with yourself and with all other people. Thank you for listening to my words with love. I love you, and we'll catch up again very soon.